the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I think you're going to really enjoy the study that we had today. I know you will, because the question of the title for the day is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's what preaching the gospel is about, right? It's to show people that they can have eternal life through Christ. Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And so what he did and what we talked about today, uh, and you'll see in this series, and I, I'll break them down in uh, like A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to complete it. But the focus is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You do, you need to be born again. And John, in Romans, we did in Romans 10, verse 10, 9 and 10, or not with Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, the examples that Christ gave dealing with the rich young ruler and dealing with the Samaritan story is to understand that if you are saved, then you should follow these patterns of eternal life. And if you are by the law, and you need to follow the patterns that Christ gave with the rich young ruler and for the Good Samaritan. And each of them is a relationship that we have between one another. I always talk about the fact of bearing good fruit, the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. There's a relationship that we're supposed to have with one another. There's a compassion that we're supposed to have for one another. There's mercy that we're supposed to have for one another. If we learn to do that, we can let our light shine. And that's what I'm thinking about. This is the importance of the pattern that we read it today. So we talk about what's what's that do in here to turn life. Let's read those scriptures. Let's study those scriptures. And then let's be doers of those scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Because uh, don't forget, we had the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's where we're in right now. Uh, so I hope people will be safe. There's a lot of people traveling. Be safe. Come on back home. We will keep you in prayer. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you and thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. You know, it makes a difference. Uh, and don't forget that if you like what the message, the content of the message, go ahead and say you like it. Make a comment on it. Help me to, to make sure that I'm listening to God correctly and putting out the product or the message that he wants put out because of how it affects you. Amen? So, subscribe when you hear these, uh, vid when you see these videos. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. If it becomes a stronghold, then give it away. Give it away. Yeah. If, 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 if drugs is your stronghold, what do you do? Come on now. You got you to let it, it go. You give that stronghold away. Yeah. If women is your stronghold, you give it away. Come on. You, you, you move from that. Exactly. You know, if 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 anger is your stronghold, you try and get rid of the anger. You, you you find ways to get rid of that sin that so is easily besets you. That, yes. That that yoke that is put upon you that that is weighing you down. Mm. And so when when it becomes. When it becomes when, when it has you becomes more important. Yes. Where you can't give it up for for the kingdom of God, then mm -hmm. that's the issue. That's that's when the scripture says you 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 can't put your mom before this. You right. Can't put your brother, your sister, your child. Nothing should come before this. That's the whole point. I think that's what he's trying to say, isn't it? And I think that's what they're talking about. The, you're peculiar. Remember what we read earlier? You're peculiar yeah. people. In other words, you do opposite of what the world yes. 
wants you to do. And this is what Christ was telling me. And that's what the guy went away sorrowful because it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right? Yeah. Hey, he said that 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 ain't what that ain't how I was taught. That's not the system I belong to, right? Because he and lost we, he lost sight of the kingdom of God. Yeah. You know, he, he that 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 was eternal life had nothing to do with anything anymore. Mm. So it mm -hmm. lets you know where his desire was. Come his on. priority was. It wasn't eternal life. Mm -mm. It was temporal life. Yes. It was temporal. Even if the stuff, right? Because the stuff can't go with him either, right? That's he that's had right. riches. He only here for this temp for, for, for a short period of time. Yes. His existence in this world. And he came talking about eternal life, mm -hmm. which is outside of this physical realm. Yes. And yet he couldn't give up what he had in this physical realm, no. which was requirement to get to the eternal. Which is what the question was in the first place. Yes. That was the question. How did eternal life? And it didn't look, let's see what the disciples had to say about it. Because uh, I thought that was interesting, right? Because <laughs> what they said. He said and, first, when, and when Yeshua saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, how hardly they shall that have riches enter into the kingdom of God. And because, so really, the question is really about how to get eternal life. Yeah. Is how to get into the kingdom. Yeah. Interesting, right? That's In other words, that, that's his all system. He was asking, and that's <laughs> all he was getting from Yeshua. He was getting, I am the, the key. I am the door. Yeah. I am the doorkeeper. I am the truth, the way, and the eternal life. <laughs> and, and 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 it's funny that 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 system he's talking about is son, because he said kingdom of heaven is hand at hand there, right? The kingdom of God is there. So he's saying he said there's a system people, correct me if I'm wrong, now. Yeah. For all of us. He, he he said that he repeated that. He did. That's exactly what he did, didn't he? Yeah, he said, how hard is for those that have riches entered into the kingdom of God? The question was how to get eternal life. Well, apparently, you being in the kingdom of God, <laughs> this, that's, that's part of getting eternal life. Mm -hmm. Woo! And it says, for it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Said it again, didn't he? You know, yeah. What you have to understand you have to understand the times and the mm -hmm. culture to understand what he was talking about with the camel and the needle sign. Tell him about the tell him about tell him about that little door about okay. it getting so, into the wall. You know, the, 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 the shape of the doors <laughs> were pretty much like the, the kissing, you know, like the chocolate kissing. Yeah. Yeah. How it has a point at the top and then it got <laughs> wide at the bottom. Come out. And so the way the camels were the camels had to kneel down and pretty much crawl yeah to get through those because <laughs> those doorways were made for men to go through yeah not for these and, and, tall camels these 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 seven foot tall <laughs> come on now <laughs> look, look. Tall camels to go through so the camels would have to get down on their knees and crawl through not only that also, especially when you're looking at rich, mm -hmm. if you're rich, then that camel is packed, and you had to take the stuff of off the camp. Yeah, so that stuff is 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 piled up on this camel, so all that has to come off. All of it got to come off. Animal has to crawl through. Yeah. Then all and the boxes got to gotta be taken through. <laughs> yeah. And look, other yeah. boxes got to go through too, yeah. right? In other words, you got to take those boxes off and then the individual bring those into yeah. the facility. Uh, the reason they did that, because you ever know, I, I, when you're thinking, I was talking about that, I, the thought that came to me is that you always know that uh, the when people attack a castle or area, right, they, they be trying to ram that door, yeah. that big door, right? Yeah. And y'all just say, okay, why don't why don't want they why don't they send they just go ahead and start ramming that smaller door, right? Yeah. Well, one problem with that smaller door is you gotta go one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it ain't gonna be pretty. 
It's a choke spot. You can fill it up with folks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need no door. You, you can fill it up with the people trying to get in. <laughs> yep. Because they can't all at one at a time and they're getting killed, right? Yeah. They'll be like, oh, this is an easy target to kill. So they try to go through the big door. Yeah, so they do all the ramming and everything else through the bigger door. I just want to put it, like you said, the needle was a door and, yeah. and the camel could not go through the door without kneeling down and crawling through. It, it the boxes, the and supplies and all the treasure stuff had to come off and be carried one at a time because one man, and apparently going to be a man. And, and the thing is, yeah. you, you got to understand, the riches had to come off. Yeah and be yeah. left for the camel to go through. That's Come what he was saying. Mm. You can't bring the riches through the door. You can't, not this it's door. The camel. The, uh -uh. the camel could not go through the door. That's why he said, it is easier for a camel to go through the needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. The kingdom so the rich of man can't enter into easily with his riches. No. He gonna have to take them off of him Especially spiritually by himself. Yes. Oh, now it's even worse now because, because you know, you imagine this a caravan, right? Yeah. They took the stuff off the camel. The camel goes through, and then there's people that carry the stuff through. They carry the stuff through, and then load it back on the camel. Whew. And that's the treasure in heaven. Yeah. So. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, yeah, you said he said they, they, your your disciples, your 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 people that's following Christ, us, the church. <laughs> what they say? They heard it. Yeah. And what they say? And they that heard it said, <laughs> "Who then can be? <laughs> who then can be saved?" They understood <laughs> the analogy. Yes, yeah. And they the said, "Is that they got?" <laughs> <laughs> and he said, the things which are impossible with man are possible with God. In other words, they tell me it's like this. A rich man should get them, their mentality, mm -hmm. to the world system, right? Yeah. A rich person should automatically be saved. Yeah. If a rich person came in, what about a poor person? How, how can I do it? I ain't got no money. I got no wealth. About, he was talking about, you know, how God looked at the... The low things come on now and, and esteem them more than the, the you know the greater things so yes yeah it's the same mentality today basically yeah. right yeah. and then god like you said he said uh 27 <laughs> he you said you read it already but yeah, go ahead things which are impossible with man are possible with god mm. then peter said lo <laughs> we have left all <laughs> And follow me. Now he put some key ingredients in there, didn't he? He said, "I may not be rich, but I left. I left everything I got." Yeah. <laughs> Verily, I say unto you, there is no man that uh -huh. has left house, or oh, brethren, come or on, wife, come on, or children, uh -huh. for the kingdom of God's sake, come on, who shall not receive many fold more in this present time? Not, not in sweet bye bye and in the world to come life everlasting so so he gave to yeah he told him what you leave this is sowing and reaping mm. the same process mm. you don't sow a seed and get a seed mm. 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 you sow a seed and get a harvest mm. and that's what he's talking about here yeah you don't so leave any of these things behind and not come out Ahead, many fold more, <laughs> manifold, and in yeah, this I present thought, time. But I like it many fold, <laughs> many fold. <laughs> I like, yeah, yeah, because it's more, right? And it's not the sweet by and by. No, this is in this present time. Did people hear the words that came out of the scriptures out of that man's mouth? We're not talking about treasures. In the sweet by and by only. We're talking about now. Did, did y'all did, did are y'all hearing that? The question was how did his church inherit eternal life, right, brother? Yep. Christ told that man, you need to get rid of your stuff. 
And based on if you got rid of your stuff, giving it to the poor, you're going to get manifold more. And not only more in this present time, but where? In the world to come. Isn't that something? So, that, that, but the question was, how do I inherit eternal life, right? The theme we talked about today is about inherit eternal life. We trying to tell people, huh? I'm just, I'm just, when you look at this, it says, if you give, then you will receive. Yes. Now. Many, much more. Yes. Way yes. much more. In this Come present on. time. So if this man was a rich young ruler mm. and he gave away all of his riches, mm -hmm. what would he have gotten back? Come on. He would have got all he would have got more wealth. He would have been more wealthy. Yes, he, sir. He would have had it, it, his 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 wealth would have been at least more. Yes. And he took he took off the things that was besetting him, the things that was hindering him. In other words, the stuff that comes back to you won't call, what do you call it? Won't control you. It won't control you. It, 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 control it won't it. be a yoke upon your life. It won't, yes. it won't restrain you mm -mm. from doing the will of God. Mm -mm. No. And if you are able to give it away and it comes back, then you know that giving mm. Come on now. It will never be an issue for you. No, come on. Come because on. Because it will return. Oh, that's, man. And see, the, here's the problem, I think, in church. Let's talk about this ministry stuff, Brother Allison. Is the church, the ministry, is a condition for people to give to the church. Yeah. And yet the scripture said, Give to the poor. Press, give to, he said, look at the, well, what's that one scripture? Give. Give and it shall be given unto you. Yeah. Man. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, yeah. shall who give? Men. Men give to your bosom. Yeah. Sound like a principle here, isn't it? Yeah. Because that principle he just said, give to the poor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in other words, you are a giver to somebody else. Not ministries, and yeah. I ain't trying to say don't stop. Don't get me wrong. You want you want to help your ministry. You want to support your ministry. Oh, yeah. You want the yeah. facility and everything else. We we're not even putting that down. But what we what has been taken away, which you talked about, was an acts. You're not giving it to each other, or or the ministry is not redistributing. No, no, it's it's going in and not really coming out. It's not it's really coming out. You know, it trickles. I ask, you talking about some trickle down? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's trickle yeah. down economics right there. Yeah. Yeah. In, in other words, you redistribute to the need according to the needs of the people. In other words, ministries that have congregations, if the congregation is giving, they should be able to take care of the needs of people in that ministry. Yeah, let's see how many mega street mega ministries there'll be if that. I know. Oh. I guess the question is if it actually got to, to if if the principle is practiced. How many ministries will grow? Because remember, it'll be restored, right? You give, and it shall be given. Yeah, but but you know how many? How many more? I mean, you you see a whole lot of of uh, churches with a yeah. whole lot of different denominations. They could be right across the street from like three, four churches <laughs> on a corner. Yeah, you know, three different churches on a corner, all three different denominations right none <laughs> work together uh -uh. for the glory of god right it's always for the glory of that denomination am yeah. i wrong yeah you're right am, am, I, it, am i wrong and, yeah and, and but yet god should be in control mm -hmm. and and the wealth of that community there shouldn't there, there shouldn't be no one lacking in that local community surrounding those three churches. Nah, because it's not for the three churches. It's, it's for, for the, the community. community. Yes, of the body. Now I'm not talking yeah. about 
you go out and you just give in these resources to people who don't believe right to people who don't who don't want to have nothing to do with god who just want the resources yeah so yeah you you minister to these people and when they receive then you minister to these people you, you yeah. know what i'm come saying on. come on now so they you do soup kitchens. the kingdom of god to these people yeah and when they receive then you minister the wealth mm. that is established amongst you, this body, mm. so that mm. that individual and their family has no need. Deep. And Deep. that is how you build the yeah. body. Glory yeah. to God. That, now that now come on now. Is is the key. Yeah. Now you just it, don't go out into these communities just giving wealth. And not minister. That, that body has established to try and get more members. No. When the members in their need, mm -hmm. the resources that you're giving to people who don't go to that church. And the people look, look, look. And and people will come. That force of the Gentiles we read earlier. Just like Jesus. Jesus was giving. Yeah. He was, I mean, even from the healing. Yes. Uh and, and feeding the people, five thousand, all that stuff. He was giving, and what yeah, was coming? But, but they were the coming. Thing was they came because they heard. They heard, and then when they saw, mm. they believed. Because he could not do nothing <laughs> outside of the faith Oof. that the people had to receive. Come on, what he had. <laughs> so without faith. Woo. It's impossible to please God. Without Come on. faith, Woo. it was impossible for Christ to do works. Exactly. Faith and, comes <laughs> by what? By, by hearing. 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 And hearing by the word of God. Woo. And it Think is the it. substance that they yeah. needed that they did not see until Ooh. their faith made it apparent and visible in this present physical realm. And they when came. we follow mm. Christ mm. Mm. in that particular pattern, yes, then these communities will truly change. Instead of going out here and just giving food away mm. to people who don't care about the Word of God, people who 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 may show up one time, yes, because you did give to them. Wow! But even if they showed up one time. The ministry mm. should be in such a way Come on. where they should be able to hear the gospel, mm -hmm. receive the gospel, yeah. apply their faith in the gospel, mm. and in a twinkling of an eye be accepted as a child of God and engrafted into the true vine. Because they came to you. Yeah. It's not happening. What they're yeah. doing is they're getting these temporary. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't even want to call them saints, but you did. This is where, when you hear people, you know, I'm saved. Well, how do you know you're saved? I don't know, but I'm saved. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a membership. I, mean, I got a membership. I, I, I go to this church. That's how I know I'm saved. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know who they are, <laughs> they don't know oh. what they have, or who they could be, <laughs> or who they could be. Exactly. It's the game. It is though. It's, it's two different systems in operation here, and we all trained to deal with the other system. Because I think even when you think about uh, Obama, when he was uh, coming out of Harvard Law School, president of Harvard Law School, to tell you the truth, and he decided to be a community servant, right? Mm -hmm. That what he was. Yeah, that, well, that, that's how he started. That's how he started. That, and look, you know what, oh, that was his passion before he got yeah. into politics. Well, the, well what what sounded to me though is look, seed time, yeah. harvest time. Yes. <laughs> his he taking that wealth, that education, not the wealth, but the education, everything else, yeah. and put it to the people of need. This man became president of the United States. Yeah. 
is what I'm trying to say. You, you, you got my point? In other words, the he planted in the community service that equated eventually to being the president of the United States. Think about that. Seed time and harvest. Seed time and they really they ridiculed him. Against huh? hope. Yeah. Against it, hope. Come, come on. They, they ridiculed him, didn't they? The Republican yeah. Party. Oh, a community service person. Uh, he he want to run for president. Yeah. That, he, they, look, he, ain't, he ain't been in office long enough. <laughs> you see him? Everything that was the norm. Woo! Woo! To gain People listen to that. Listen to that. was abnormal. Listen to it. <laughs> and, 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 and extreme far beyond what they could imagine or think. He started his, in, yeah. in his self. <laughs> it probably took, it probably took, <laughs> It probably took the day of inauguration for him to believe. Wow, that I started off in humility, mm -hmm. being a community service Seeing person. Need, meeting the need. Wow. And then growing to where he, he could. And, and wow. I, I didn't complete that thought because what came to mind is what he could have done. Yes, sir. If, if there wasn't the opposition. Mm. Mm. that said before he went in office this is going to be a one term president and we won't do nothing yes. to support anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that he I, will yeah. bring to this nation and yet he still was one of the greatest if not mm -hmm. the greatest leader of this this nation yeah, even you with the opposition that he had, exactly on the level that he yeah. had. I mean, he he mm. they went through everything. But like you said, though, because give. I mean, but what I'm saying, that I think you agree with that. We're seeing a pattern here. Yeah, we're we're seeing a pattern, and I'm gonna give you another pattern. You ready? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Here you go. Here you go. Check this out, people. <laughs> we this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.